let me ask you, how do you feel this year? This is probably your best year ever. Yeah, man, it's been an incredible year. A lot of, a lot of hard work, in the trenches work, behind the scenes work, paying off, uh, you know, have an opportunity to have it pay off and spend time, get back home, spend my family, it's been great. Been yeah. coming out here and visiting the fans. And I'm excited about this year as well. Possibilities of uh, what I can do in Olympia. It's just uh, good energy. You're gonna Olympia. Good energy, you know? <laughs> yeah, you know, that's the plan. We try to stay humble here, but you know, know. the goal is to attack uh, this off season and, and work very, very hard to make it a, a solid decision for the judges, you know? No questions. So uh, I got more work to put in, but the goal is obviously to stand out. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, that's great. I wish you all the best to win the Sando, you know? I think you have all the possibilities and everyone believes that. Yes, sir. So you just need to find your strength and to accomplish that goal. Yeah, we, we're going to get, uh, you know, try to get 5%, 70% better. Uh, and, uh, you know, we smash it. But I got more work to do. Yeah. It's not mine yet, I got to earn it. <laughs> how, do you, how do you handle with stress and all that stuff, you know? Well, Keep that puff. I'm very good with stress. Very good with stress. Very good under pressure. Uh, I, I don't take uh, life too serious. I know, uh, you know, as long as I'm alive, I have 70 chances uh, to, to make mistakes and, and get better and learn from them. So, you know, as long as I'm breathing, it's an opportunity. So, I fail, I get back up. Like, fail, yeah, I get back that's up. That's awesome. <laughs> do, you, do you have any, like, uh, hobbies or something that you can relieve that stress? Or do well, you, you have know, as a, for as, that? A, as a bodybuilder, you know, the first outlet for stress relief I found was uh, the, wet, the gym. Yeah. Found pounding the weights. Uh, you know, and on, a, on another side, you know, having a proper spiritual mindset, you know, making sure, you know, all this physical reality that we see, is, you know, it's always something behind it that's more special, you know, and making sure you're tuned in and making sure you're doing what you're supposed to be doing. And also being a good human being to, to others, uh, giving back and receiving in return what you give back. So, you know, I, I believe in that and, um, and that's what I try to do. You know, I want to give back to the fans. I want to be a, a personal person. And um, I always make sure I'm considering the kind, and never let this stuff get to my head. Mm -hmm. and, I, and I think that that's the platform that uh, will allow uh, me to get to the top. You know, because once I start taking myself too seriously, you know, I, I don't want to. I don't want to see that person. Uh, you know, uh, you know. So I, I like to stay on, stay grounded, and you know, and remember, you know, you know, this is just uh, one life, and it could be gone in any instant. That's true. We're in supplement supplement company booth. What do you believe are the let's say top five best supplements? which are must for bodybuilders for, and lifters. For, for bodybuilders in general, supplements or products? For, for us, for bodybuilders. For bodybuilders, well, generally, as a bodybuilder, we, we think of our, our increasing our protein intake. Yeah. So, when it comes to protein, you know, whey supplements are the best, uh, as far as the quality and uh, and the, deli the delivery and the flavoring system. So, isolates, hydrogelates, are what I like to take around my workout time to recover. Yeah. That's first. When it comes to getting the extra calories in, of course, we look to mostly carbohydrates. So having some kind of intro formula or post-workout carbohydrate. Uh, we do volume here at SciTech. Uh, uh, I'm uh, like a weight carb that digests quickly. It's something that we need. Also, the amino acid profiles. Yeah. Keeping yourself um, with the proper amino acids. EAAs are uh, getting the most respect these days. Doesn't mean BAs, BCAs are useless, but EAAs are better. better. So, uh, you know, I'll make sure I have those in as a staple. Of course, we got products that have so solid research in the industry as well as creatine products. Yeah. Creatine monohydrate in particular is solid, cognitive function is for us, and of course, keeping your muscles full. And then you can't discredit things like simple as sodium, magnesium, uh, zinc. For keeping the your, your body properly balanced, yeah. uh, and uh, I think things like melatonin for proper rest and sleep at night, all these things, synergy will give you those little extra synergies to make you be a better bodybuilder. So, uh, when it comes to being a, a complete bodybuilder, of course, food is is first, but the supplementation is definitely it gives you the edge if you know how to use it, you know how to apply it, and you're not wasting your time with uh, thinking it's a magic trick or a miracle. But you know, it's each consistent day. Of, of taking care of your body, giving what it needs, it's going to give you the result. Just, all the time. Yes. What do you think about healthy fats like omega-3 acids and CLA? And that's uh, like you know, he he healthy fats, of course, when it comes to managing inflammation, is, is, a, is a big thing. Uh, you know, in, in the typical diets these days, it's something that we lack. So supplementation, if, if you're not eating a lot of, uh, you know, fatty fishes and, and whatnot, is definitely a benefit as far as heart health as well. So when it comes to, the, to, to, to reducing inflammation, heart health, uh, you know, supplement with omega-3 fatty acids is, is what you want to do, where you want to be. Uh, so it's, it's very convenient, 
uh, it, it, people that don't like fish, it's, it's, it's very, very, very good. And even some vegans can get away with it because they actually need it uh, more than more than people that actually eat meat. So yeah, that's true. Uh, do you do you use like creating monohydrate through the whole year, or you are cycling it somehow? Uh, so, uh, typically, I, I I will cycle it because. Uh, you don't really notice the impact of a performance benefit when you take creatine consistently throughout the year. Yeah. Uh, so some people will write it off because they, they take it in uh, these mixed formulas like all the time so they don't recognize the benefit. So uh, if you really, really, really want to get the no creatine as far as a performance booster, sometimes you need to come off of it and reintroduce it again to realize how effective it can be in yeah, your training. It's regimen. more effective, you realize that, yeah, I see. Um, what do you think about your favorite cutting formula? Cutting, cutting formula. formula, yeah. Well, you know, for me, cutting, cutting, cutting is about reducing appetite. It's about having the proper stimulus to, uh, like, uh, for me, like things like yohimbine. Of course, you can't get things like ephedra anymore. Yeah. And uh, of course, our uh, most of our cutting products are filled with caffeine, which works in a way of keeping you stimulated, keeping you motivated. That's what the basis is to kind of fill that gap in where you're low energy and you can get your your body in a state to where it's burning fat. Uh, optimally at, at particular times. I mean, really, it's not going to beat the hard work. I don't like to promote uh, fat burning products because a lot of people think of them as shortcuts. But if you own a solid plan and you need the extra help and the extra motivation, the extra push to get those body fat percentages down uh, to to uh, an elite level, yeah. then that's when it goes. But if you're really, really out of, out of shape, that's not the first place you go because uh, a lot of people suffer these days from stimulant burnout because of the pre-workout market as well. So if you own pre-workouts and you own uh, fat burners at the same time, then you, 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 you may have your adrenals being fatigued eventually uh, just by not knowing any better. Yeah. So I, I believe, you know, I don't really pro push pro, uh, pre-workouts as much because I like to get the most out of the least. So if I'm deep into prep and I've been drinking coffee as a pre-workout for most of my prep and I do t decide to take a pre-workout, it's gonna really give me what I need when I need it. So same thing with the fat burner. When you're really, really getting there and you're stubborn, you're at a plateau, you throw a fat burner in, it's gonna give you what you need exactly when you need it. Let me ask you, what is your favorite training split? Because this is what all the people are always interested in. How do you train, you know, what is your favorite, more, more, most beneficial training split for you? Well, I, I believe your training split should be in, in contrast with one another. I don't, I believe you have some, a particular one favorite, but I think you need to have a contrast. So yeah. my contrast is I typically go, have a high, high volume uh, training split when I'm training Kuwait. And we train body parts at least twice a week. Twice a week. So, you know, chest and buys, uh, back and triceps. Uh, we have a shoulder day. And then we have a, a quad day. And uh, my hamstrings, I can beat them up pretty bad to where I only have to train them once a week. So I throw them in at, at night because quads is pretty extensive for us. And uh, so, so some body parts I don't believe needs to be trained as much frequently as others. But in general, I train every body part twice a week yeah. when I'm having high volume. Now to have the total contrast to that, when I'm not uh, in Kuwait, I like to make sure I respond to that type of training again. So I go, I, t I reduce the volume, and I'm really focusing on getting the quality out of the intensity. Oh, I, I think the, the, the two contrast together, and they work together. So now I'm, I'm really focused on getting my weights back up, getting the quality back in. I'm not really fatiguing uh, until I get to my max working sets. Mm -hmm. yes. And after I get to my max working sets, then I'm uh, dropping the weight, and then I'm starting to go to failure. At, 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 at not pure drop sets, but each consecutive set, I'll rest and then go to failure. And then I'll push the failure and then do some of the fluff stuff after I've worked the intensity. Uh, that, that keeps my volume enough to where I can, um, it's still bodybuilding, but you know, the intensity is, is really the focus on that part of the uh, part of the program. So those two contrast together and work perfectly. And then once I get back to the volume, my, my, my body balloons and the glycogen, you know, loading takes effect and you get that synergistic effect. So you get that full round muscle and then you, you work on that hardness uh, in, in, in the beginning and then you work in that full round, the full roundness and that glycogen loading process in the end when it comes to a closer to competition. Are you that carb guy or you need to lower how? I'm, a, I'm definitely a carb guy. Uh, it doesn't mean I, I haven't tried the low, uh, higher fat diets and low carb diets, but for me, the way my muscles, muscles are and the way my training is adjusted when I am in prep, I definitely need the carbs to perform. So I diet on low fat and, and a higher carb intake. Mm -hmm. and how much is it for you, that high carb? Well, we, we do yeah. carb, we do carbs by weight. Yeah. So, and my tip of my carb sources are rice uh, and potato. So if we do it by weight, you know, um, my minimum weight will be 900 grams mm -hmm. uh, total weight. 
and uh, at my top weight, we'll get closer to 3,000 grams in weight. Wow. So, so we like to have them high because the higher, the, the less you suffer when you bring them down. Because if you start out too low and you bring it down, then you're going to have nowhere to go. And it has to be clean because I... You're not able to imagine how you digest all of this amount, you know. Well, you know, it's it's hard. It's hard, and and actually, I have to actually incorporate cardio uh, in all season to keep my appetite. It helps you. Yeah. That's why. Yeah. But then, it, but it allows me to reduce my cardio as I'm coming into a show. Mm -hmm. I understand. Okay, last question. Is there anything you would like to say to your fans in Slovakia? Oh yeah. yeah. Hey guys, I appreciate you supporting me, guys. I wouldn't be anything without my fans. I wouldn't be out. You know, bodybuilding fans are the best fans because this is not a. This is not a, uh, what do you call it, uh, it's not Hollywood, this is not, you know, we need you guys, you know. They're not giving us uh, these big uh, contracts with like athletes in the, in the U.S. football players, basketball players. So we need your guys' support, following support, and, uh, and your interest. So we, I appreciate you guys, and I thank you. SciTech Nutrition is definitely a solid company. I support them 100% just for the quality alone. And you get everything you need essential to, to bodybuilding. So thank you guys, and I appreciate you. I'm out. Thank you very much, Brandon, for this amazing interview.